Good morning, chat. Please allow me to calibrate my spine. How 
are you? How are you? I'm about to cry potentially, so get ready. I did a lot of editing and I'm pretty sure I saved. But yeah, all right, we're good. Thank God you guys don't have to listen to me cry. Um, Every once in a while when I put my computer to sleep, it will um like not um like register my microphone in OBS anymore for unknown reasons. I I don't know why it does that. It's just completely random. And I've never tried putting it back to sleep and waking it back up. Like maybe that would work, but I've always just restarted my computer to fix it. Um and I realized when I was shutting everything down, uh, I didn't save my ASMR editing, or at least I didn't remember doing it, but that was hours and hours and hours ago. Good morning. So I was like, oh my God, if I open up this program and it doesn't have an autosave feature, I will cry. But either I saved or it does, one of the two. Good morning, Planet Popper. Good morning, Vala. Good morning, Petro. Good morning, Gall. Gall! You might have to come in here and fix something. I don't know what's wrong. I am hitting the run button. And it says buffout 4dll buffout4 has loaded too late. Try adjusting the plugin preloader load method. I don't know what that means. This is not my department. I don't restart game. I can't. The, 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 there's no game to start. That is how I start the game. I'm hitting the run button from the mod manager, and that's what happens. The that's that's the thing I get, and then it, it closes. Yeah, everything's on fire. Help! In other news, while I wait for Gull to either come over or give me tech support, um, I've always said that <clears throat> once we, like, configured the mouth stuff, the mouth of the model looks great, a Petra will attest, I genuinely think that I could do mukbanging as a VTuber. Good morning, special. What do I do? Uh, this. Did you call me special? What did you just say? No, oh. no, special occasion is here. He said, good morning. Oh. Oh? This. Which one? That one. Loader or not loader? This one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you scroll down in this list? Yes. Okay, that's right. Okay, hit run. So it was just running the wrong thing. Yes. Okay. You can't run the regular game, it won't do it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't. You have I to didn't. run the script extender. Got it. I just opened it up and hit play because I had to restart my computer. Oh, I see. Did, did your stuff save for editing? Yes. Okay, good. That would make everyone cry. <laughs> no, probably just me. I promise you. Because I don't know if I would get everything done in time. You if... cry, I cry. Okay, okay bye. Thank you bye. very much. Thing, <laughs> easy fix. <laughs> you cry, <you> cry. <laughs> okay, uh, so let me pause the OST. Easy fix. I just had the wrong um thingy enabled. Uh, what was it called? Um, yeah, in the in the mod launcher, I just had the wrong thing selected. Apparently. It's not the base game, it's the script. That, I don't know what any of that shit means. It just means that I, I it's fixed. Yay! 
And go to Stream Manager and pull you guys up because, again, usually all of this stuff is here. But I had to restart my computer because my microphone, when coming out of sleep, just sometimes doesn't just, 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 just. I don't know. I have no explanation as to what happens. But anyways. But yes, I have some uh, exciting things in the works. Uh, and by me, I mean Gull has given me many presents, as she often does. Uh, we're eating good uh, from the stream... Uh, stream portion of life right now. There's going to be some additions soon. <laughs> that will be fun. Oh, I forgot to tweet. Shit. Hold on one sec. I was so distracted by having to restart my computer. Uh, Fallout 4 modded. I have a son. Could have fooled me. Only my robots, my dog, and side quests for me. I also realized why my tweet from yesterday felt like it was so, like, short. It's because I forgot the hashtags. And tweet sent. I'm also so happy that Twitter is now, or like the embed for my Twitter is now like just using uh, my uh, like bio essentially. Hello, is someone crying? I would have cried because my ASMR audio almost got boinked, but I fixed it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. I was like, this hasn't loaded yet. Don't I, the Brahmin? And if you got any sense, all right. Oh, thank God there wasn't an NPC in front of me. All right, where the heck am I going? Uh, uh, okay. What was the last? I think I got, oh, shit. I think I got this one next. What did I miss last time? Um, honestly, I think we just did side quests for the most part. I did, um, I did Vault 88 or 81. I got Curie. I did that whole, like, thing. Um. I think that's really, that's what I remember. Oh, what was the deal with 81? Um, essentially, it was a vault that was uh, created. There was like a, a normal vault and then a vault underneath the vault that their job was to um, spread viruses and diseases through um, mole rats. Um uh, to the inhabitants upstairs and then uh, observe them to see how they like reacted to stuff like that. Um, but the mole rats got hyper intelligent, broke out of their cages and killed them all before they could do any of that. Hey, Caleb. Ah! 
And I had to go and get a cure for a child that they guilt tripped me into giving them, but turns out that I'm actually infected with the with the virus. Also, I just want to look at my. I think it's okay. I think it's pretty normal. Uh, we're going this way. I think that's basically all that I did. I might have cleared another... Oh, and I also, like, cleared a raider thing, but it was, like, small. So it wasn't, you know... It wasn't a whole thing like the last time. Then I got a new gun as well. On recommendation of chat. Um going this way. Yeah, so now I have two robots with me. I have Podworth and I have Curie, the French robot. The French like um virologist, is that what? What, um, you know, people who study viruses and stuff are called? No, no! Oh god. Oh god. God damn it. I got something right? I'm personally shocked. <laughs> Giga brain. I may have detected unusual behavior. Your pulse and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. Game? Oh god, they're coming for me. They have names. Why do they have names? Do I know them? <laughs> Where's our bridge? There it is. Did I hear someone? Or is that just my dog? Oh, there you are. 
Excuse me? Show your face. I don't even know where you are. Only a fucking coward hides. I'm not hiding. I'm standing right here. Oh, there you are. Er. You are so no. Dead. What am I? Someone is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. When you turn up, you're dead. Okay, they're literally right below me, it looks like, so. You can Think you can win this? Huh? Yeah. So violent. Alright. Yeah, I probably should. You're right. I do know about that. But I'm like, nah, I got it. That rubbish where you found it. Nothing is rubbish anymore, Codsworth. It's all useful. There we go. Permanently heal 50% more. Ooh. Hey, Wolfram, it's good to see you. I know that life's been busy for you. Hopefully, good busy. Cooking station? All right, let's see. Oh, well, your exams will be done soon, and then you'll be free. Oh, I didn't even see this. Fucking, oh my god, this is a dolphin? Dope. Sorry. Poor doggo. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot the dog, so I'm pretty sure my dog got him. down. Oh, 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 I fell down again. <clears throat> Help! Okay, there we go. Got a jar of Nutella. What? Oh, I... Yeah. I saw it and I backed up, but then I was like, but what if I can grab it, though? Because <laughs> I couldn't remember if you could grab mines if you, like, saw that they were there. Ooh, ammo box. Got it.
Absolutely. Enjoy your lurk. Oh yeah, and I mentioned in the Discord as well, uh, but for people who uh, don't regularly check the Discord, which is fine, um, the artist that did only once per lifetime. <laughs> um, I could have sworn I picked up mines. Like if you saw them in time, you could like, d like click on them to disarm them and then pick them up. Um, but we, uh, the artist that did the Nodder's emote, um, she's been on break, um, from doing any more commissions for the last, like, two-ish months. But she said that when she opens back up again in May, she will take, um, the, like, big commission that I'm gonna give her because, because of, like, um, the, um the game-a-thon slash the debut going so well, as well as just having several emote slots um, from, you know, before. Um, we have like 32 or something odd emote slots total. Um, and I think only like a third of them are actually filled right now. So I was like, fuck it. Let's, let's just get it. Well, okay, let's be honest. It was Gull that was like, you really need to get your emotes done because emotes are like a great way to expand the channel and have people sub. Um, so uh, it's going to be quite a hefty uh, price tag to get them all done, um, which is why like it's it's crazy to me how I guess not. I don't want to say easy because it's not easy to get like subs and things like that but because you guys have been so insanely generous like i haven't been able to keep up with the amount of emotes that we've been getting so it's gonna be a uh for like the slots that we've unlocked but we're gonna throw down the, the cash and get it done and so that she said about Surely we can leave that behind. Big emote drops. So yeah, like sometime in August uh ish, like August, September, I think, or July uh August, the uh emotes should be potentially done. So that'll be that'll be fun. I'm excited for that because the emote that she like the nodders is just so good and i'm so excited for for more emotes by her oh also hello harbinger welcome yeah, to the cambridge polymer labs Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Yeah, I've never played a Fallout game before. This is my first one. I'm having a good time. It's just basically, I grab everything simulator. Begin decontamination sequence. Yeah. Aw, thank you, Arbiter. Yeah, I remember you. Is that it? Okay. Oh, can you fix me? I say, 
This is one of the tiniest spots we've come across yet. Oh. Oh God. Oh, not at all. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination sequence. Great. Decontamination. Yeah, gee, thanks. I feel very decontaminated. Um, okay. Security lockdown in effect. Some system functions may be unavailable at this time. Open exterior clean room door. Okay. Okay, so both of them. No, 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 no. Stop it. No. I'm assuming this just. You can heal yourself with that. Oh. Yeah. System error. Isotope reservoir below minimum levels. Device unusable at this time. Left reagent input none. Right reagent input none. Radioactive isotope none. Current operation executables. Nucleostrictive nucleo lining project. Scan loaded reagents. Okay. Check current fabrication parameters. Nucleostrictive lining project version 0.9.4. Author none begin. Nano weave mesh extrusion pattern 1142. Input reagent lithium hydride. Input reagent to gold. Apply output to metal hard form number 219745. Begin radiation dosing pattern. 71762 isotope U-238 whole size 14 I'm assuming nanometers dispense end. Okay, so do we need lithium hydride and gold? Run loaded fabrication routine. Okay. Hmm. Unidentified sample. Isotope sample. Radioactive isotope required. Okay. If only so much tech. Uh. Technology like this one lost after the war. Civilization may not have fallen so far. Hmm. What's all this then? Oh God! Jesus! Uh, this is not the my gun. Oh god. It's not the gun that I want. Why do I have this gun out right now? Oh god, what is happening to me? Why am I stuck? Uh. Okay, hold on. No. Oh, I have the caps lock on. That's why. Okay. Uh. Sword by damage. Um, can I have this? Um, yeah, Q. T. Okay, and then... My hacker man's it's a What the heck was that? Alright. Um where do we come in from? 
came in from this room and I never went to the center table, like I literally told myself to do. Uh, Nucleostrictive lining project. Project thesis. I don't even know why I'm reading this. I didn't understand. I won't know any of it. Initial studies have led us to hypothesize that by taking a known piezoelectric material, lead, zirconium, or zirconium, titanite, and properly applying a polymer of gold and lithium hydrate, hydride, sorry, that a localized conversion of ionizing radiation to electrical energy might be achieved. This method of compact energy harvest may prove suitable for applications to pre-existing power armor currently in use by U.S. Armed Forces. Erica Elwood Willem, Director of Engineering of Energy, maybe? I don't know. Thermal Dissipation. Initial tests have proved that the methodology is sound. Radioactive energy harvest is 15 times higher than current automotive fusion engines. Unfortunately, there are still problems that we need to overcome the ionic excitation, excitation in the gold that produces the harvestable electrons also creates a buildup of thermal waste. The heat is not substantial from a macro perspective, but due to the low shear modules, the gold suspension in the nano weave starts to break down quickly under extended use. We are going to attempt to change the dosing pattern on the gold to produce thinner strands through the material. The increased surface area should help dissipate the thermal energy, much like a heat sink. Tensile strain. The newer dosing patterns have been successful at dissipating the heat generated by the reaction. We've taken a slight hit to the harvest efficiency, but extended the static material lifetime from a matter of days to several years. While this is, from our perspective, already a successful experiment, the project parameters require a flexible lining that can be applied to power armor. It seems we underestimated the tensile strain the armor produces and the thinner gold weave in the material ends up shredding, so to speak, under the heavy use. Colonel Kemp was less than pleased and threatened to pull the funding if we can't produce the promised results. So we need to go back to the thicker weave and find a different way to solve the thermal, thermal dissipation issue. trapped. We've been trapped in the lab for days now and tensions are running high. The team is fractured and falling apart. They don't know what is going on outside and have started making attempts to escape the lab. While I was sleeping, they managed to cut a hole through the thinner interior wall of the clean room, but have been unable to break through the hearted outer wall. Will started talking with some of the others about going at the problem from a more oblique angle, which got me thinking about the thermal dissipation problem when it dawned on me. If we change the dousing pattern so it isn't producing nano holes perpendicular to the surface, but instead at an angle, we might be able to reflect the most direct radioactive particles and trap only those coming in at an oblique angle to the material. We should achieve a lower energy harvest, but the heat dissipation issue might be solved. Tom, Mary, and I are going to gather the samples needed to try it. Sides. We're so close. We've been unable to gather the samples needed to try the new dousing pattern. Will has locked himself in one of the labs and has been attempting to hack into the administrative systems. When we tried to get to the UT38 we need from the isotope containment, he locked it down, leaving Mary stranded inside. He said he is going to set the facility of defense system so that it looks like the lab has been breached. This will unlock the clean room, but will also activate the automated defenses, which will see us as attackers. He means to fight his way out, but that's suicide. He's the only one in the lab with military training, and we don't even have real weapons. I've tried to tell him that we can complete the project, that we have the answer now, but he refuses to see reason and doesn't believe John will actually let us out. We've managed to pull down part of the ceiling in C1, which will get us into the utility crawl space. It can't get us out, but it should be able to get us above the lab Will has barricaded himself in. I don't like it, but we have to get the drop on him. Internal mail relay. 
W. Berkman. I'm getting us out. Uh, January 16th, 2078. I'm getting us out. I'm not letting John play tyrant any longer. The isotope containment is leaking and he still won't let us out. I've gotten through his updated security subroutines and it's only a matter of time till I get control of the facility defenses. He's so busy trying to keep me out of the clean room controls. Huh. He probably hasn't realized that by triggering a facility breached sweep, all the doors will open to allow the robots access. We're fighting our way out, and then I'll deal with your husband, Will. J. Elwood, Confidential. Erica, I have sent an explanation to the team, but I need you to know that what is actually going on. Please do not share this with anyone else. It may start a panic. This morning, I got a call from Colonel Kemp, and he told me to keep our team in the lab, but before I could ask, he hung up. The sound you heard outside was an atomic bomb going off. It seems to have hit southwest of the city. The phone lines have been jammed, but I found a way to reach Kemp's liaison, and he informed me that they could only afford a detail to escort us to Safeway if we have vital military assets or intelligence. That is why we need to get the project finished. I love you, and I know you can do this, John. Mandatory overtime. Good morning, everyone. I know you've all been here overnight and everyone is tired, but I need everyone to push through just a little longer. Dr. Elwood Woolham has said that you are very close to cracking the project, the problem with the nucleo select, bleh, the nucleo strictive lining project, and I have a good feeling that today will be the day. Along with our normal snacks, I've sent a runner to Slocum's Joe for coffee and donuts. We'll be ordering Spucky's later this afternoon. What is with these awful names for restaurants? I also just got off the phone with Colonel Kemp, and he said there may be some training exercises happening around town today. So if you hear what sounds like tanks or gunfire, don't panic. It's just a drill. Makes sense to me. Oh, God. I was trying to pick up the thing, but I realized it's a hole in the... Okay. So they were doing something here, but my brain too small to know what it was. I guess they were, like, trying to, like, um, test further improvements for the power armor. Okay, I came in through here. Hazmat suit. Unknown sample. Okay. Nothing in the Edomatic, unfortunately. Yeah, was there no, okay. Oh wait, there was something in the goal, right? Ah! I'm stuck on the railing. Okay. <laughs> Who's trying to fix who? Unidentified sample. 
Nice. Glad you could make it to so many. <laughs> Another unidentified sample. Hey. hey. Buddy, come on. I'm trying to loot. Oh god, dog. Isotope containment terminal. Ooh, okay. Okay. One likeness. Salt doesn't have any likeness. Uh, sling doesn't have any likeness. Uh, yeah, so it's not an S at the end. Sheep doesn't have any likeness. Okay, it's not I or S at the end. So it's M, L, or E. It could be, oh, it is. Okay, so it's got S at the end. It's not, hmm, okay. So it could be, you've only got one shot. It has to have an S at the end. It can't be calls because it doesn't have an A. Oh, it could also be the A in the middle too. But it's only got the one. So it could be Samba as well. Through. Okay, I just got lucky. Leak detected in radioactive isotope containment. Personnel are advised to evacuate the facility until proper maintenance can be performed in the event that evacuation is not possible. Protective suits should be worn. Security door control. Open. Okay. Status busy. Wait, so did it open the doors or not? Status busy. Okay. Well, I just have to assume. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bella. God. Okay. Released. Okay. It has no letters. One letter. Three. Okay. Shit. Um, it says three likenesses with conquers. doesn't that doesn't that doesn't 
that doesn't. It's got E, and that's it. It's got ERS. Damn. How unfortunate. Uh oh. How unfortunate. I forgot I can't alt tab and it would still pass time. Let me in. Okay, one likeness. Uh, this has no likenesses. This has an N. Okay, so it's the N is the second to last. Can't be. Could also be. No, it can't. It has to be the N. So. Can't be guarding. Can't be flourish. Can't be stronger. Can't be savagery. Can't be shielded. Okay. Is it stemming? Oh my god. I guess it was clothing then? I don't know. This is tough. Alright. Exterior. So nothing the same as exterior. one likeness there. I uh, can't be remuster. Because it's got an R at the end. It could be peaceful if yes. it's got the E. Okay. Cool. Open door, please. Hello, doctor. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Huh? Everyone's still alive. Oh, sheesh. I don't think that was entirely necessary. Here's a thing. A, a sort of uh, note. I guess uh, I'm from here in Diamond City, and I'll uh. Got a chessboard. Bergman's terminal. Right hand bones. Right. Bergman's terminal. Isotope containment. Local controls can be found in lab, blah, blah, blah. Facility defense systems. Emergency override. Setting override. Status set to security breached. All lockdown overrides cleared. Defense system set to kill on site. Oh, good. Bean room. Access locked by user J. Elwood. Okay. Internal message relay. Isotope containment. Well, this is insane. Even if you manage to hack into the administrative controls, do you know what will happen if you trigger a security breach? Yes, the doors through the clean room will open, but the first thing through them will be a wave of robots to kill every living intruder in the lab. Even if we manage to get past them, there are also the turrets. There's one right here in the lab, remember? If you do this, you are mo more likely to get us all killed than set us free, Erica. Hacking admin. 
Wilfred, do you think I wouldn't catch on to what you're doing? I got a network alert the moment you took control of the isotope containment. You may have been the best hacker on campus back at CIT, but that was years ago. And while you were busy up in Alaska pretending to be a soldier, we had the best programmers working on our security system. I told you weeks ago I'll let you all out of the lab once the research is completed. Locking Erica and the rest of the team out of the isotope containment just to spite me doesn't accomplish anything. Good morning, everyone. I know... Okay. Deleted email. Backups cannot be restored at this time. What are you doing? You're going to get us killed. Can't cut through. I'm with you. About the new dowsing pattern. Okay. Curie? Wait. That about takes care of that. Picking up hostile life signs. Not this time. There is indeed something weird going on here. I couldn't figure out which robot was the bad robot. Oh, okay, here it is. Oh, wait, no, that's a turret. Can't loot the robot. Completed the labs. It appears he was correct. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, wait, I could do healing. Uh, Stim back. Blap, blap, blap. Exit. Thank you. Caps. What is that? Good to see ya. Rip cage and spleen. No! 
I think I might have been able to loot that. I don't know where I ended up. <laughs> I loot everything now. It's very um, wet. Is it? God, I don't remember how to get back to the that one room. That's got the thing. Okay, this looks familiar. I think this was the first room we came into. I want to see if I can do this, though. Um... Is there a way to tell what's what? Okay, uh, oh, okay. Um, scan loaded reagents. Hydrochloric acid. Okay, we lithium hydride was one that we needed. But which one is it? Okay, so it's the second one. Oh wait, shit. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I think lithium hydride was what we needed. Okay. Uh, okay, and we have gold. I'm just curious what they all are, so... Tungsten and cobalt. Okay. So we needed lithium hydride and gold. No. And gold. With this. Right? I think this, this looks correct. Apply output to blah, blah, blah. Okay. Run. Taghorn, hello. Pisa no nucleic power armor chest. Perfect. Increases action point refresh. Okay. Hey, cares. Based game choice? Well, you can thank Ataraxia for that. Alright. And you are correct. I should get my rad be gone. Modded or unmodded? It is modded currently. I should also just eat some food instead of using my stim packs for this. Uh, no. K underscore has just followed. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much for the follow, Curse. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. That's quite alright. 
Glad to have you here. I will save my game. Thank you. Ooh, I... I never come in this way, or did I just not loot this room? Oh, I didn't go to this side of the room it like an well idiot. Said, this world of Volcom is very confusing. I just like to collect things, alright? Is it so wrong? You wanna be a pack rat? Of you for that. <laughs> I am a hoarder. I never want to be without stuff so that when I walk up and an NPC is like, I need you to go gather blah blah blah, and I'll be like, don't worry, I have 30 of those already. Somebody angry up here. <laughs> oh, I was a I was a, a cheater and I turned on no in like a heavy like no encumbrance. You're a friend. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, I, I don't want encumbrance. That guy's friendly, now. Listen. Everybody's an, an enemy. I'm hold on. I need to loot before I talk to you. Sorry. I leave it for an added challenge. I just don't care to to do all that, honestly. What the fuck was that? Can't be asked to walk slow. What is happening? Oh my God. Exactly. I got places to be and things to do. <laughs> Take Stimpak from right next to the dying soldier. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian, but what's your business here? 
I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not opportunistic Damn. mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station. <laughs> oh no, our first. It just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Sure, why not? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. It's power. It's meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. This is just a fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Sure. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Alright, uh... Oh, I'm following you. Okay. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese. Once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police I'm station. I'm a civilian again. I'm shooting yourself. you. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Ooh. Okay, not ready yet, apparently. Let's see. Um... um, what kind of gun is the gun that I'm using? Let's see, uh, weapons. Is there a way of, like, inspect? Like, what kind of rifle is it? There's an inspect yeah, but it didn't tell me anything. Oh. Like it just says overseer's guardian shoots an additional projectile, blah blah blah. And then it says like its stats and its mods, but it doesn't tell me like if it's an automatic or a oh. Yeah. It's just a rifle. Combat rifle. Oh right, that's what I'm asking. It's like so this, this perk is like, uh, attacks with non-automatic rifles. So is this an automatic rifle or a non-automatic rifle? And how do you tell the difference? It's not auto. Okay. 
Okay. But how do you know? I guess so that I can figure it out for my future. I can tell by the mods. Oh, okay. Auto shoots many bullets fast and automatically. It says armor piercing automatic receiver. So it is an automatic now? Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. So that wouldn't help because it's an automatic rifle. Got it. Okay. I can't see. My head is in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. You're right. It is. Um, my head is in the way. Wait, hold on. Can I move myself? That'd be funny. But it did, it did say, uh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, inspect. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> My big head is in the way. <laughs> My apologies. All right. Yeah, now I know. Let's see. You can view target specific damage resistances. I don't care. No. Mm hmm Oh, cool. Mm hmm <gasps> I'm so sorry! I don't want to mix it up open. God, I'm failure. Again, the restart of the computer. I usually never have to do this. I fix. I sorry. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Well, I will get it to you when uh, the cooldown is up. Because for some reason... Ooh. Ooh. That's funny. Oh, I'm sorry that you're not feeling good, Ataraxia. I hope you feel better. Um, I'm just looking at what they do. Uh, 
I was looking for for gun gun perks. But it seems like you can't bump up the damage of non-automatic weapons. So I guess I go for gun nut, right? So that I can get better uh, mods for them. A penetrator? I hardly know her. And when one has that ever stopped you? There is one. One what? Is this worth anything? This world of Borkhand is very confusing. Uh, an upgrade for non-automatic. So Look back in the perks. Oh, okay. I don't know. You're proud. Ew. Nice. Okay. I'll definitely keep an eye out the next time I level up. Might be more humane to just dig you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Commonwealth is a very filthy place. For shame. It gives in agility. That makes sense. How's security looking? Are we going to be able to hold out here? This building's pretty solid. We should be safe enough. Yeah, unless a behemoth decides to pay us a visit. Hey, if that happens, we won't last long enough to worry about it. I need to remember when uh, my next ad break runs that I need to go and get the hamburger meat out for dinner. Don't let me forget, chat. It's important. I will look up Commando the next time I level up. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Me too. You got it? Oh, I can do it. I just had to remember to do it. Because I, I told myself to do it this morning and I forgot. Because I want to make sure that the hamburger thaws in time. Because it can be a little... With how much, with three pounds of hamburger, it can sometimes take its time. Okay, I guess I don't have to remember. Thank you, Gull. Excuse me, Cosper. Yeah, I can't imagine that having a whole bunch of companions is actually beneficial since they have collision. Like, if you have 15 companions with you, I, I, I imagine the whole game is just you getting stuck in doorways. I actually don't got it. The freezer is precarious. That's okay. I'll get it. I just, you need to remind me. Or I just need to remember myself. Must steal everything. This 
Sorry about the other guys. That's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, I guess I'll talk to you now. That I'm finished looting your base of operations. Think you're some kind of hot shot? No. Paladin. You ready to move out? Mm-hmm. Why well, establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the capital wasteland. But it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Sure. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Yeah, all jokes on you. I'm about to put on some chapstick, so. Aww. Thank you so much for the hundred vex, Vela. That's so very kind of you. Thank you. We'll take this out. Follow me. Okay. I'm following. Thank you, thank you, Bella. You've been Our so incredibly kind. Thank you. If we take this road. We should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. What? But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area <laughs> that need to be in Well, hello there. and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. I see you again. Thank you, Bella. I don't think we've got company. my loot all button it might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the commonwealth over the last seven years two other teams were sent here by the brotherhood to gather technology the first team's mission was a huge success they came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents the second wasn't so fortunate shortly after they arrived we lost contact with them and they haven't been heard from since. Loot all is R twice. we lost four good men to this. It is. I'll just try that next time. The moment we arrived, but despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. You hear that? Over there. Get him. Hold up. The fly. I think we're being stopped. Found you. Tango down. Where's my... Where's my loot? No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, that wasn't the... Ugh. What 
It's me missing. I can't see shit. Exploded. Huh. Cool. Oh, we got vaporized. Wait, no, hold on. Yes. I'm learning. I remembered a keybind. There it is, Arc Jet Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. Okay. Gear. I have to follow you again. We're looting. I'm sorry, dude. You better follow me. Put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. I wonder if he thinks I'm listening to him. Because I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm like. I honestly haven't... I don't think I've listened to a single word he said. Look at these wrecks. <laughs> He's talking and Arcanet Mail, security concerns. Thomas Reinhardt, CEO, all security personnel. I'd like to have your team get together and implement a new security strategy for the Arcjet complex. This is our first contract for the USAA USSA, and I don't intend to have any security slip-ups while we're working on the XMB booster engine. I want you to double the coverage 24 hours a day and install automated countermeasures inside the facility. I'd also like you to hire a consultant to figure out a better security password system for our terminals. The automated reset timer mailing out passwords is ridiculous. Turrets. Sam Brent, security lead. Starting tomorrow, we'll begin distributing identification badges to all employees. These badges must be worn at all times. They are infused with a low-yield radioactive isotope that will prevent our internal security turrets from accidentally shooting any of our employees. If anyone is caught near the entrance to the engine core without a badge, we are not liable for the injuries you may sustain. The turrets will go online in one week, so I suggest you sign up for your badge as soon as possible. Engine core accident. Thomas Reinhardt, CEO. Sam, what the hell is going on down here? How did a member of the press get all the way past security through the entire research facility and into the engine core without tripping our alarms or turrets? We have a real mess up on our hands, and it's going to be your job to clean it up. I don't care how you do it, just make it all go away. If this comes back to bite us, I swear you're going to be the one that takes the fall. 
You really shouldn't be writing these kinds of threatening letters in an email on the company computer, you know. Production control. Uh, production unit absent or damaged. Activate units. Please advise any personnel standing near. Doesn't need that anymore. Mans would hit reply all in a corporate email. <laughs> Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Oh, thank you, Moonlighter. I'm glad you do. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. <laughs> Tell me about it, doggo. Tell me about it. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. <laughs> there ain't gonna be nothing left after I'm done with it, dude, so don't even bother. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. What is reconnoiter? Like, look through? Cause, uh, I had a DM that created a custom homebrew spell for me once as a wizard. And it, it was called reconnoiter. I called it reconnoiter. Apparently it's like recon, recon, Reconoid? I don't know what he just said. I already don't remember. Um, but it essentially allowed me to, uh, like, magically highlight footprints that had been in the area. So maybe that's what that means. I didn't know it was a real word. Impressive. Well, it's no General Atomics back in the day, but still, not too shabby. How would you identify a synth from a robot? It's like the alien movie robots? Um, I... I don't know. I haven't met a synth in this game, so I don't know what they look like. I'm assuming they probably have, like, human-y looking skin or features on, like, the, like, you know, the Codsworth-esque robots. Lab, lab analysis. Reminder, password security. Sam Brent, security lead. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, the suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping ArcGIS systems secure. Magnet to chest test. <laughs> Synth is like human, like robot is very realistic. Oh. Automated password change. According to our pa our records, your terminal password has not been changed in three months. For security purposes, your password will now be reset. Your new password is 9YB3N. This is an automated message. Please do not reply.
I was about to say, uh, how is this like a, a, a like quest required thing, but it is an advanced unlock? What if they didn't, you know, upgrade their thing, but you can bypass that? Unable to establish a connection to the prototype. Please connect to technician. Please contact a technician for assistance. Security door control. Open. Oh no. I'm sorry, Bella. Hold up. Over there. Is yeah. someone present? Hello. on something. Sweet. That was easy. Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. Moonlighter 2003 just followed. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much for the follow, Moonlighter. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, are you? I'm sorry. Is it like a lot or really annoying? Oh, it might be because I'm a little, like, congested, so maybe I'm just breathing in through my nose a little harder than I usually do. Thank you for the drink, Bella. Is it happening a lot or just?
Hmm. Okay. So it can't be tomato. Okay. Can't be precious. Can't be reverted. Can be acquired. <laughs> okay, destruct. Okay, it's got three in common with criminal. Okay, can't be that. I am I'm I? In. Okay. Nice. I'm in. I'm still trying to convince Dr. McClellan that switching from uranium to deuterium will yield a much higher burn to thrust ratio. He's concerned that the deuterium Refinement will add a few months to the XMB booster schedule, but my gut says it's worth the risk. I know that Reinhardt has us all working seven days a week on the project as it is, but I don't mind putting in the extra time if it means that the booster's efficiency is improved. Well, I did the best that I could. I showed my demonstration to Dr. McClellan, and he was impressed. He took my notes directly to the board and asked for a project extension, but Reinhardt said no. I don't understand why it all comes down to money. We're sending a couple of men to Mars, and we want them to get there as safely and efficiently as possible. All those bastards care about is the fact that three more months on the schedule will cost them a few million dollars. And frankly, I'm getting sick of the bottom line detracting... Oh, dictating what we do in the laboratory. After, wrap, after we wrap this project, I'm going to look for work somewhere else. Now that the fuel issues have been settled, I've been moved off of the XMB booster and onto the deep range transmitter. Sorry. I'm just getting distracted. Okay. Now that the fuel issue has been settled, I've been moved I've been moved off of the XMB booster and onto the deep range transmitter. Frankly, I think they're just pulling me off of the propulsion system because I'm the only one stupid enough to complain when things go wrong. So instead of tweaking fuel mixtures and thermodynamic thermodynamics calculations, they have me fine-tuning one of our glorified radios. So glad I'm wasting my nuclear physics degree on that. My task is to increase the broadcast range on the DRT by at least 50% by the end of the month. Should be a piece of cake. Only took me three weeks, but I have the DRT's broadcast radius boosted by over 70%. With one of these beauties installed on the NSSIA's ship, they should be able to ping a signal back and forth within 10 minutes. Now all I have to do is get the unit size down by about half so it fits inside the required volume and I'll be finished. I hope they move me back to something more interesting after this. Disengage lock. Yoink. No! My bobby pin! Oh, 
Oh god. There we go. Yes. Is my VTuber custom made? Yes, it is. I, I had it commissioned by a wonderful uh, artist and rigger named Otter Chisu. And uh, the concept was created by myself and uh, my roommate, Gull, who helped me out significantly with uh, cracking down on a design and theme that I wanted. She's all mine. God, where did he go? Did I loot? I did not. I have not looted this room. Hell yeah. Energy weapons. Ooh, CEO's terminal. Oh god. After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Projects propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put Arctic on the map. I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan, McClellan to the AMB booster... XMB booster team today. There are a few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a coup. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will be well worth every dollar. We promised the USAA that the booster would be ready at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet the deadline with time to spare. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step away. Uh, it's time to take a step back from the look at everything that's happened to ArcJet Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now, with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance, thanks to Dr. McCullen. We're on schedule and under budget. The USAA is thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. Dr. McClellan's informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USAA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance. But thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me go to sleep at night. The USAA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shot Project, and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take their pretty pictures of the USAA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McClellan solves our weight problems soon or we're never going to get a contract from the USAA ever again. I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the X and B's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the energy core, engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year. 
but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermal glass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration, and burned the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down, and I may as well put a for sale sign out up front. All of the unrest overseas is making the USAA nervous about proceeding with the Mars shot project. They're telling me they have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. Well, <laughs> the world's going to hell, essentially. been here already. My VTuber is very shaky. Uh, yeah, it, it moves a lot, but so do I. We just recently put some new parameters into the model so that it moves a little bit more when I do. Air department terminal. Can't be let's. There we go. Amber. <laughs> great, great freeze frame that my cat has put on me. Hello, Amber. You never come up and hang out with me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My cat. <laughs> Repair order. Install new terminal in Reinhardt's office. He's demanding some serious security on it now that we've got the Mars shot contract. I'm not sure if he's being paranoid or if he's got a real reason to worry. I'll set him up with the best we've got for now. Okay, and now I'm convinced Reinhardt is paranoid. He's had me put in automated security turrets in the main hallway outside his office. Oh, oh my god. You okay there, Amber? Jeez. She just tried to go from my desk to the bookshelf that she usually sits on and, uh, like, almost fell off of the bookshelf. <laughs> okay, now I'm, uh, bah, bah. You'd think we were working for the military instead of just the United States Space Administration. 
Scott McClellan constantly bugging me that the mainframe keeps running out of space. I've ordered some more storage from our supplier, but we're rapidly running out of room down here for any more consoles. I might have to talk Reinhardt into letting us spill over into the office section. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Brent came down and had me pull all of the video surveillance records from the mainframe from last month. I asked if he wanted me to make him backups, but he just grunted like he always does and demanded the originals. I have no idea what he's doing with them, and I don't want to know. As long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. Uh, let's deactivate the turrets. Here there be dragons. <laughs> Turret operation should be limited to trained professionals only. Consumer commands are limited to activation slash deactivation of the turrets hardlined into this terminal. For all other operations, please refer to a licensed technician. Any tampering will void warranty and indemnify the manufacturer against potential injury and or death caused to users or passers-by. System Diagnostics. Turrets linked node condition. All of them offline. Perfect. All right, I'll be right back. I have to go uh, put or get uh, some meat out of the freezer for dinner. So be right back during the ad break. Thank you so much, everyone. I don't have any ground beef, ha ha.
Uh, I don't actually have any. That's why Gull couldn't find it in the freezer. I, uh, apparently didn't buy any this week, even though I thought that I had. So. No, uh, I did get some meat out for dinner, and by meat, I mean I got some shrimp out for dinner. But, uh, no tacos on Taco Thursday, unfortunately. I know most people do Taco Tuesday, but weirdly in my school, in like my middle school, uh, we had tacos on Thursdays instead. Shrimp tacos? You're welcome, special occasion. I'm glad that I can help. Um, I've never really done shrimp tacos. I don't know if I like them. I usually just do like butter garlic shrimp with some pasta of some kind. Also, I feel like I just... Seafood tacos are fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it's just um, there were special like certain days that they would serve certain foods in my school, and they would serve tacos only one day a week, and it would be on Thursdays. So it was Taco Thursday. Where the heck am I going? This is why I need to follow him. You do it in a rice, it's amazing. Ugh. Yeah, I don't... Where am I going? I'm getting so lost. I think I have to go down, because he's not on the same floor as me. But how did we get up here? Like, where did we come from? All right, I gotta, I gotta follow Wolfram's advice, and I gotta go to the left go to the left until I find where the heck I'm going. It's like a maze. Ah, oh, okay. I found it. Cool. Any special plans for this month? I'm planning my office days. Um, I will probably not be streaming on April 6th. Okay, hold on. I have to look. Um, it'll be one of the two days, of course. Um, because we we leave on the 16th, but I think Gull is going into the office that day. So I will still stream in the morning. And I believe my family is going to be coming back on the 20th. It'll either be the 25th or the 26th. And I'll have to ask Gull what day we're driving back because the day... Um, what day are we driving back? Because, um, the day before that, my, my family is going to be in the house and they probably will not let me stream for eight hours straight or, or eight hours in that day. Cause they're like, Oh, we want you to be here so that you hang out with us. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Don't want to be doing that, but I am compelled, I suppose. Um, so I think they're going to be in Aruba from the 17th to the 25th. And on the 20, I think they're going to be there all day on the 26th and we're going to be leaving in the afternoon. So I would say that Friday the 26th or um, 
potentially Tuesday the 16th or Wednesday the 17th. Because if I won't be streaming in the afternoon on the 16th. And depending on if my D&D &D group is running on the 17th, I might stream in the morning and the afternoon to make up for not being there in the afternoon on Tuesday. So I would say probably for sure the 26th would be the day that I don't stream at all. Because my... Oh, but she doesn't usually get up that early anyway. So oh, thank you for the head pads. Um, so yeah. T take your pick. It's going to it's going to be either the 16th, the 26th are like the two big days that I probably uh can't stream because of travel in the afternoon, but 26th is most likely the day that I won't be streaming at all unfortunately. And then I'll stream in the afternoon on Saturday as like a makeup stream. And I'll stream in the afternoon potentially on Wednesday. So probably the 20th and the 27th for Saturdays, I will stream in the afternoon because I'll be at home as like a sorry I didn't stream on Tuesday and sorry I didn't stream on Friday kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I would say the 26th is your best bet if you're like scheduling yourself to not to be in the office when I'm not streaming, but I don't have any to, to answer your actual question. Uh, no, I don't have any special plans like a, a debut stream or a 24 hour or anything. It's just. I will be. Traveling a little to hang out, not hang out with my family, but to oh, my God, you guys are talking so much, but it's only when I'm streaming. Um, BS. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's, you're, you're welcome. Sorry for the, uh, um, the uh, long winded answer to your very simple question, which is just go in whenever you want. You don't have to schedule yourself around me. Anyway. All right. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it is impossible to lock down my family for answers for anything. So I don't know what their plans are. <laughs> Thank you for the advance again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, ooh. oh, is this a thing? Ooh, ah, ah, I see. Okay, so one likeness to slips, and it's not the S at the end. You can only do that once, okay. It's not the S at the end. I missed it. Any special plans? Ah! Um, I'm going to be going to my... Uh, to my families to watch their dogs from the 16th to the 26th. And I likely will not be streaming on the 26th at all. But I will stream in the afternoons on Fridays to make up for it. Um... So it's two different of these because they both have, oh wait, no, no, Freeze didn't have any likeness, sorry. So it's not the S at the end, that's all we know. But it has something with slips. Maybe movie night? What do you mean? Could be Scout. Okay. 
Sam Brent. Security lead. Front reception. As requested. Hello, Juniper. I've had a room. I, I've had a floor safe installed in the front office area. This should allow you to pay for any incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred to a more secure location. Let me know if you have any issues with the safe or the locking mechanism. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I realize that our announcement regarding the Mars shot project has caused quite a lot of excitement with the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions or give any information regarding the project unless pre-authorization has been provided. Okay. Dog. Engine cores ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Look at this place. Scribes would have a field day in here. Hey, Moss Man! should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. There's nothing in here. The power is out. The power is out. Warning. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Bingo. Got a junk jet? Whatever that is. Do I want to take the fusion core? I feel like I should be giving it a fusion core. You can take it. Sweet. <laughs> I was unaware what was a bobby pin. Do I use power armor? No, it screws up the uh, the console command to remove encumbrance, so I don't bother with it. Oh, wait, wait, there's a terminal that I literally looked at and said I'm going to do that last and then walked away. So it's not E at the end.
Wait. Yes, it's not the E at the end. It's got one likeness and rude. So it could be the R. Okay. The engine core is operating on emergency power. To conserve energy, all non-critical systems and operations have been suspended. Start auxiliary generators. Engine core power restored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Where did you go? Ow, don't shoot me. Shoot the paladin. Oh god, also my health. No, I don't have any bullets. I'm missing, and also my robot standing in front of me. I am still intact. Looks like we've secured the core. Let's head up to the control room. Really? You can turn the engine on. Yeah. I was looting. Uh, what engine? You said I can turn the engine on? Oh. This one. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four, Unsecure. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of ninety six point seven percent. We're fortunate that the rocket engine fired instead of blowing itself apart. It was fine. I've been reading all the things that they were doing a good job. Oh, can you turn it on, like, during that fight to make the fight easier or something? This is all much more exciting than domestic life, I assure you. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little oh. sense. I will work on this. You're doing great, Curie. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? <laughs> I died from fall damage. Fucking... Ugh. Well, I guess I get to do that again, but hey, at least I get to have the engine go. My bobby pin? Sweet. 
Okay, so it's got... Can't be hope. Can't be face. Can't be slid. Okay, so it's T is one of the options for sure. So T is the last letter for sure, so it has to be felt. Nice. Okay. Our options start. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fuel. Neve, I want to hit the thing. It's standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Here, my target has three, two, one. Engine firing. Nice. You survived a giant engine with an efficiency rating of ninety-six point <laughs> seven percent. You okay? Oh my God, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Yeah, see, so you're fine. Oh, just turn them into ash. Oh, that's fun. I was about to say there's some loot here. All right. Doesn't it just lead me back up stairs? Why did I do that? I know what it does. Why did I do that? Ouch. Ouch? Are you okay? Cogs okay. Uh oh. I heard something. We run yeah, company. Oh, okay, there we go. I, I have a new objective now, finally. You get out from behind that, mister.
Why can't you do any of this? Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Okay. I suspect the end of the world was likely conceived in a laboratory much like this. Maybe. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I will work on this. Carrie, don't worry about it. You're doing amazingly. We love you. My only regret is that he survived the jet engine. Oh god. Guys. Guys, thank you. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. I must loot everything first. What's the matter, buddy? Why are you growling? What's the matter? You Why must take care to reduce the radiation dose you absorb. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Is there a weight limit? Not for me. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secured. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thanks, I guess. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. But you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? So... What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? Okay. So question, chat. Is this like in most rpgs where if you like decide to join one faction you can't like join any others or is this just like his recruitment thing and i can just do it with everyone and it's fine are you ignoring me for a reason i am considering okay shush not right now what does not right now mean <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> I should join the Brotherhood. But will it stop me from doing stuff with like... I it if you said something. Shut up. I'm not... I'm... I almost want to say no just because of that. I just want to make sure that it... I don't like say yes now and then later it's like, oh, well, you could have joined us, but you're already with the Brotherhood. So, okay. Excuse me. I'd be honored to join. So needy. Able to find young Sean. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Oh, right. I have a son that I'm 
supposed to be doing stuff with. Too busy doing side quests. Okay. That's just what I wanted to know. Because I know that in some RPGs, they're like, well, these guys hate the synths, or at least this guy does. So you, if you go to an area that has the synths in it, they'll just be like, oh, you're a paladin of the Brotherhood. We hate you forever. Apparently I can make a dirty I can make soup. Noodle soup. Yum. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I might have to... Oh wait, no, I can't get on the bridge from her. Bridge don't go nowhere. <laughs> if our son is anything but dead at the end of this game, I'm going to be disappointed. Imagine having to take care of a child in this in this environment. <laughs> no, thank you. Imagine having to take care of a child in any environment. No, thank you. <laughs> but especially in the apocalypse. It looks quite defensible. Parkour. Howard and Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Paladin dance. Good, you're back. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Recon, huh? So, what are we looking for? Don't worry about it. Talk to Reese and I after we're done here, and we'll explain everything. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I... got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you... But the you hell need is to this guy's problem? You understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Nah, I'm alright. I never was good at following the rules. If you intend to stay with us, I expect you to take my advice seriously. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Why can't you promote me beyond Initiate? Only an Elder can promote you beyond Initiate. Don't worry, I have no interest. Up and running, I'll call in and see what I can do. 
Okay. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes. I figured that out, thank you. Is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Okay, who's closer? Hey, right. man. Looks Are like it's still you. giving you the cold shoulder. Fuck him. Huh. I give up trying to get along with him. Don't take it personally. It's not you. It's him. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so... I asked him if he cared about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there was no room for anything else in his life. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? I love how she thinks that I care. Like, at all. About what Reese thinks. Or, like, getting on his good side. Fuck that guy. What exactly does a scribe do for the Brotherhood? We do everything that the pilots and the soldiers need to keep all of their operations running. All the scientific research, the repairs, the tactical planning, you name it. <laughs> We do all of the technical work. Of course, I'm a field scribe, so I'm boots on the ground with the soldiers, but... Dance? We're like having a conversation? Once in a while. Anyway, I won't bore you with Can any you more Can you figure yourself out, please? You ready to head out on your assignment? Sure. Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Oh, he has a separate job. Ugh. Or maybe he doesn't, because she's her. <sighs> Yeah, Ulf, it looked like you hey did. Man. All right, out with it. What's your game? I don't have time for this. Well, you better make time if you intend to stay on board. See, that's what I don't get about you. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? <laughs> good question. That's a good question. I guess I don't know. Then you need to choose a side. You're either with the Brotherhood, or you're against it. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Sure. Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Honestly, maybe I won't come back at all. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh keep hitting tab on the road again <laughs> I 
I suck. What's all this then? Nope, it's RR. What's your fun puppy? Did you just try to kick my dog? What an asshole. Yes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Totally. I thought that there was a spider over there, and I got spooked. But it was the skeleton. Oh. Are we worried about my dog not getting radiation? He just kind of walks into stuff. Over we may not be alone. Yeah, but I just don't know where. Am I getting shot from? I have considerable damage. Well, then don't stand on a landmine. I just don't. Oh. Sorry? What's that about? You can win this, huh? Oh! Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Have a good life, fools. Okay, rest well. I'm a pretty good shot to play FPS games. No, I, I'm really bad at FPSs. I don't think I'm a pretty good shot. It took me like three or four shots to hit that person that was standing still. Wood. I keep thinking I see movement over here. Excuse me, Robert. Yes, it is. It, it is indeed Coca-Cola. Huh. 
Hintergang. Ooh, I can, uh... Now. Yes. Alright. Um... E. It's called Commando. Ooh, here. It means automatic weapons. Ooh! Okay. Hmm, we get the head pads. Terrified. Okay. Yellow paint. Where? Oh. So there's something on the same level as me, right? here, but I don't see them. I guess they're- oh, they would be inside here. Okay. What? Are you guys getting shot at? How do I get in there from that side, though? If I have to save? Mm -hmm. I've been quick saving. You have to walk the dishes and take out the trash? Understandable. Have a good lurk as well. No, no, you don't have to apologize. It might also be hidden a little, but come on, yeah, it's up in the top left. But yes, it's a very useful thing to know, so I appreciate it. Walk the dishes. <laughs> Does it? That's kind of weird. You should get that checked out. I don't know how you get oh, up I into there. Find you. I'm trying to find you. No sign of him now. Might only be able to get into it from that door or that. But that looks like it leads into another area, but the inside seems like they connect to the outside structure, so. And you can hear things from the outside, because I, I did that in that one place before, so. Hell yeah. I may have detected oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, I have survived the activities. Was that? It's me. Hi. I'm the intruder. It's me. Uh, guys. Hiding from me? Jet will make you jittery. Oh, oh God. Glowing fungus. Fun. Ooh, and there's more over here, too. Can't take this lamp. Hmm. What was the point of this? This little area. Wait, 
Anyway, after being sidetracked, we continue on. What the fuck was that? You're still, oh my god, there's still people here. Where are you? I don't care. Tech genetics. Wait, I could talk to a raider? Where? It said raider scum talk. Didn't it? Crazy? Richard. The synthetic truth by Piper Right Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's power noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. For the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the ceiling, the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful, the ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonald. Sidle, sidle up to the stool and engage in the very small ritual. The very same ritual. Wow, I can't read. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every resident, every Diamond City resident. So it must have... You're going to make Boston great again? Are we in Boston right now? <laughs> also Drake and Josh, season seven. Uh, so it must have seemed that... It must have seemed... To, oh I wish I knew how to read. <laughs> oh, that's Boston. Got it. Didn't... Had no idea. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 20... 22... 29... as they sat around this very same counter, but that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles, but ice-cold Nuka-Cola's frothy beers and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghouls residents certainly could have. Had they not forcibly been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonald's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. But there is one person among us who does matter, distinctly, the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there, all right. Sitting right at the bar. Sure as you're sitting in front of me now. 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. 
And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful, until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching kind of funny. And I remember watching him clear as it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, pulled out a revolver, and then blam, he shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink, but his cheek never stopped twitching. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing, of course, is the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Since... After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people, too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and shoot, throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down, seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early since, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now. Among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on a killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned. A hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek and was never meant to kill anyone, but at that time... The why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were there, but were, and still are, a complete mystery using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. What? Yeah? Why are you so chatty today? Hmm? Why are you so chatty today? You never come up here and hang out with me anymore. Now you've been up here twice. Go on. Go where you're going. Amber. No, you can't get under the microphone. Why are you like this? Oh, no! I was reading that, you know. Um. Okay. Uh, which brings us to noodles, specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor McDon McDonough last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter the Synth went haywire and mercil mercil mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Are we? Oh, taking a trip down memory lane with that? I must take every single piece of this paper. It could be useful for something. Wait, oh, no, it's hold. Hold tab, there we go. Okay, I'm not gonna be distracted anymore. I'm gonna go to my objective. 
What's going on over there? Oh, it's the it's the building glitching. Okay. Why are the buildings glitching? We'll just run away from the glitching buildings, it's fine. They can't hurt us if we run away from them. Ooh. Big green door. God, she just she jumps up onto my desk. And just makes everything so cat hair heavy. Sorry, I'm looking at something real quick. Oh, here we go. Oh god, where did I come in from? Okay, I came from here. <laughs> Ooh, the police spot. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Do 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 Eagle. No likeness. Can't be that. Could be done. Okay, cool. Production control. Activate units. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Along when playing Fallout 4 since 2016, the horrors of post nuclear world still lingers. That's because it's a real possibility on, like, you know, theoretically, like, zombies. Also, very unlikely to exist. But. Like, nuclear war? Yeah, it could potentially exist someday. That's so, it. That could be why it's so scary to some people. He's out there. I'm out there. Just noise. Just noise. What? What the? Why do you have human heads in here? Got me stirred up over now. What is that? Let me stalk you. Okay. I suppose Drake I will and allow Josh it. Season seven just followed. Okay. Enjoy your and emotes. <laughs> Thank you for the stalking. I appreciate it. Oh, welcome, welcome. Oh. At least it sure as hell looks that way. Huh? Oh. Shit. Jet will make you jittery. Yeah, she was right. Doggy! Please move. Get a grip by yourself. Someone is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. Dog? It's okay, buddy. There you go. Shut the fuck up.
Wait, is this the same? Yeah, because that's the same hallway. How do you get, like, turned around when you're going to the left? My poor robot! Pins, my favorite. Fashionable glasses. Ooh, I could put sunglasses on and be a Wesker. Ready to go in the elevator. Loot, 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 loot. I am a loot goblin. I must take everything that exists. Why can't I loot like the bodies that are hung like this? Like, I'm taking the clothes off of the raiders. Why can't I take the clothes off of other stuff? Why is it so rumbly in here? Like a paranormal activity movie. Uh huh, they give her the blankie. Oh, that leads to outside shit. You for your contribution. I'm sorry. Turret control. Uh, deactivate. Thank you. Just noise. Bob, a moment, perhaps. Yes. Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something. I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Oh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. We are part of the family, Cosworth. Hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first, it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean, of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, Mum, you 
don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. Of course you're family. Why would you think otherwise? Hmm? From Sean's birth until now, you've always been there. Mom, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Shall we? Oh, God. Didn't realize that was water. Help. What? Why is there a bomb there? <laughs> well, hello there. Right, I can't wait. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I always want to hit it twice for some reason, instead of pulling it down. System wired up. Ooh. Griswold's Poetry Collection. Finally got all the terminals wired up. Took a while to get the turrets playing nice, nice, especially. I have to remember to get something nice for Jake after what happened to his pet mole rat. I wish Sue didn't have to be such a pain about this taking a while. Just because she can load up a few hollow tapes doesn't mean she knows the first thing about how complicated this old crap is. Whatever, it works now. Play tape. <laughs> Poetry of Griswold. Do not read. This means you. On life. What? Okay. On death by Griswold. Low to die to kill to maim. I really like to watch men die. I hope nobody kills me so I can kill them instead. The end. Oh, okay, so this is written by a psychopath. On Sue. Sue is pretty. Sue is nice. Sue can shoot real good, even at night. I love Sue. That ends. On Griswold. Low to be tough and handsome. Low to be the best shooter ever. Low to be Griswold, best raider ever. That ends. On Sue. New. Sue is mean and not nice. That is why I shot her twice. That ends. Oh, I wanted to take that. I mean, hey, that was a good rhyme, I guess. You gotta be joking. <laughs> Chemistry station, I can make, uh, 
ammo potentially. I didn't mean to. Coffee bot. Yoink. Okay. Um, chemistry station. Drugs. Alright, so healing. Make more stim packs. Robot repair kit. I don't have any of these. Thing. Okay, uh, utility. And I need 45s. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, I hope that doesn't just make one at a time, because that takes, like, a decent amount of resources, but nice. Never have to use another gun again. Are you okay? Hey. May I be of assistance? Trade is good. Uh, if I give her the robot repair kit, can she use it on herself? If she has it, like, in, in her inventory? That'll work, but we'll try. What is going on? Why is there so much radiation down here? Ah. Oh, apparently I had a key. And data and clear out College Square. Oh, I don't have any. Enough AP, I guess. Because I've been holding my breath. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. 
I wonder if I feel like I wonder if I was doing any damage. Shouldn't the coroner be doing that instead? What's up, buddy? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> nice job. I have the best dog. You're right. God, why am I having such a hard time? Is there like a window there or something? Or was I just out of range, maybe? These doors are shut, so I can't loot the buildings. I already have that frequency, and I'm sure I'll get to that quest eventually. What's a guana in a lunchbox? station or uh it's a something that isn't what i'm trying to be on not a lootable thing <laughs> thus i don't care <laughs> what did you guys oh
Leave my dog alone. And poor puppy. Continuing on. College Square. Attacking me. It's kind of rude. Did you die to the ghouls? Because I don't remember seeing a raider or hearing one. Is that you guys doing that? I hope so. It says that there's something like right here. Picking up hostile life signs. But where? Like up there, it looks like. But how do I get up there? Like there's another. I can do this all day. Oh, goody, another house to loot. Here you are, all right. You seem to be floating. Map updated. 
caution. I am equipped with defensive capabilities. Of course. Everything okay? Is everything all right? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travel so far, and my self-diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. So, how are you going to do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Okay. Is that even... Makes about as much sense to me. There were great advances made before the war in cognition and memories. Surely there is someone who can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Okay. Makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh god. Why did my brain not recognize that you were an enemy? Damn it. Yes. Nice. Well, I guess I replaced my bobby pin. It is opening. Let's buff out just Nutella. <laughs>
Well, yeah, speaking of, why was that red? It, li what? it literally just went from here to here. Why did... what? One, why was it red? And two, yes. why did you just like that? Oh. Like and love. That's cute. What? Why was that door red? And why did Cogsworth get upset at me unlocking it? Oh, you mean the one that I used already? Um... There we go. Okay. Have a good nap, Ataraxia. I'm so sorry that you're not feeling well today. Please rest well. Well, headbats to you. I hope you feel better. I'm a baby, and like I can, I have a high ta pain tolerance, but I become an absolute weenie when it comes to having like a stomach ache or anything like that. So I absolutely understand just feeling like garbage. So I hope you feel better soon. Bing, bing, bing. I shut them down. That's fine. We're leaving anyway. One big mess Ooh. on to the next.
the matter, buddy? Are you perky? It's fine. Thing. So, you finished or what? Yeah, I did it. Affirmative. Keep it up, and I may start believing you got some real guts. Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. When you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. <clears throat> Hope you're ready to purge another target. Can't let those abominations keep thinking they own the place. What's the mission? Taking out the garbage. Mutants, synths. And every other freak byproduct of those damn nukes. Okay, so I'm ready. Good. Here's the latest target area. I don't want to see your face until that place is clear. You're such a tick. You got that tech yet? Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, I'll always want more tech. So believe me, I'll never run short of missions. Once you're ready, come find me. Affirmative. Great. I mark the location on your map. Stay alert. Welcome back. I've got another mission for you, if you're ready. All right. Is there anything I can do here at the station? No, I need you in the field. Reese and Halen have things under control for now. Are you okay. ready to go? Mm-hmm. Ready. Outstanding. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. Okay, was there a rescue mission? No. The Brotherhood doesn't have the resources or the manpower to conduct a search like that. Everyone who signs up for a recon mission knows the risks. Our lives depend on our training and on each other. But if a team is lost, we honor those who give their lives in the line of duty. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them. If we can. Where should I begin? Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. All right. Watch your back out there. I'm guessing we're not the only ones scouring the Commonwealth for those artifacts. Is this well, that you meant thing? to leave that There's rubbish where you found it. Very confusing. Commander or Commando. Okay. I'm gonna get myself confused if I have multiple markers on the map. I'm gonna end up running my ass back here on accident. Oh, it's a... Ah! What the heck? Such size. What to find? 
Don't worry, buddies. I got you. Oh, I don't like that. Am I in survival? What do you mean, Matt? Like... Is it that like a difficulty? No, I'm not in survival. I'm in easy because I'm a baby. Like, maybe I could probably turn it up to normal, but I don't really play games for them to be difficult. I struggle bus enough <laughs> without making it overly difficult for myself. Where am I? Oh, they're all above. <laughs> How am I not? Okay, I'm a failure. You mind? You survived? Not dead. Excuse me, puppy. Is this a here? Someone is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. Not this time. You're dangerous. Combat is quite vigorous exercise. I'm not a word, but wouldn't want to leave the good stuff. Uh, I killed three of them now. Yeah. I think we know what they were just doing. Well, more loot for me. Alright guys, it is noon, which means it is time for me to sign off to make some lunch as soon as I kill this fly. I really think it's a... It's a range... Ah! 
Yeah, yeah, here's, here's it. Okay, I can... Nice! Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I'll be back in about two hours. I stream every day, 8 a.m. to noon, and almost every day, uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And I'll be playing some more Fallout as I just continue to do all of the side quests and completely ignore the fact that my son is missing. As is, you know, pretty normal for me. Uh, thank you so much to, if I could tab back into the correct thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much to Kurz, Moonlighter, and Drake and Joss Season 7 for following today. And thank you so much for the 100 bits, fella. I appreciate it so, so very much. As I said, I'll be back again in about two hours. I hope you guys have a good rest. Um, you make some good lunch or have some nice dinner or maybe even have some breakfast depending on where you are. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. I'm having a lot of fun while playing this game. Bye guys.